Hey guys, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media and today I'm going to bring you a little video about the Fox body and a couple of things that we're going to be working on uh, with the car, getting it ready for some racing coming up here in just a month or so, month and a half maybe. Um, so on this car the steam port kit was not done exactly the way I would have liked to have seen it done. That wasn't done by me, that was done by the previous owner so we're going to try to rectify that. The way it was set up was the back ports were completely just blocked off on the on the backs of the heads. The front ports on the front of the heads were connected together as they should be, but then instead of them running to like the radiator to get rid of any heat and steam, they were just running right back into the water pump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo that setup. We're gonna Y all four head ports together with a block from motion, and then we're gonna take one feed or one line from that block and run to the radiator. The issue with that is, at least in this instance, is the radiator that this car has is a Griffin, it's like a Griffin three core um, aluminum radiator. There are no fittings on the radiator to plumb that pipe there, that hose into. So what, uh, what I'm gonna do is, it is an aluminum radiator. I'm gonna take the radiator, I've got some fittings, some aluminum fittings. I'm gonna take it over to a local shop that can weld aluminum see if they can zip a couple of holes into the, the end tank of the radiator and have them weld in these fittings and I'll kind of grab you here and show you what I'm talking about so this is the radiator here and what we're gonna do is like right in here in this end tank I've actually got two different fittings I've got a eighth inch and a quarter uh, NPT right here So I'm gonna have them actually go ahead and put both in that way no matter if I need eighth or quarter I can just plug one and Use the one that I want and I'll have both without having to run adapters. So basically these will just uh, Like I said have them zip a couple holes right here and that will just go in there Just like that if you can kind of see that maybe put the other one below it or something um, but that's kind of the plan for right now and other things we're working on as well but I'll bring this to you as we kind of do them this is the goal for right now this is what we're working on so I'll kind of show you the end result once I get the radiator back and the fittings are put in and everything and show you as I hook everything up on the motor I haven't done any of the, the connections for the ports yet I do have the kit but I haven't done any of it yet so once I get all that going I will record it and show it to you all right, thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Tyler with Boost Junkie Media. And so it's been a few days since we have uh, you know done anything. Uh, kind of last time we left off, I told you that I was taking the radiator over to a local shop. I'm gonna have some bungs welded in. Well, I just picked up the radiator, so I got it back. So I'm gonna kind of show you what we're doing here. So hopefully you can see there in the, um, in the shot you can kind of see what I did uh, these two bunks here this one is an eighth inch this one is a quarter NPT and with these two bungs basically I can take the steam port kit that I was talking about and put a fitting in there and run the fitting block to this this will vent all of the steam and heat from the um, from the motor on the LS style motor with the steam ports It'll vent all that and put it into the expansion tank on the radiator. And that is the proper way to get rid of all the steam and heat that's inside the heads. So that's what we're going to be working on. I just kind of wanted to show you, give you a little update that we got the radiator back. And everything looks good with it. So that's what we're going to be working on next. I'm probably going to set up time lapse as I'm setting all this up. And here and there during the time lapse, I will uh, you know, kind of talk about what I'm doing. But it's going to be a fairly lengthy process. Not lengthy process, but it's going to be a few minutes to get everything hooked up and done. So the entire video would be way too long to show all of it. So I'll just do a time lapse and show you guys that way. So stay tuned to that. All right, guys. So here is, this is my setup. This is kind of what we're working with here. I'm going to show you. So this is the Motion Raceworks Low Ram Steam Kit 10 140. Um, and even though I do not have a low ram, I think based on the way I, what I saw in the pictures, I think this is going to work the best. So 
You've got a bunch of different fittings in here. You've got some bolts. You've got these. You've got these little blocks. So these are what go in the corners of the heads. You've got little gaskets that go under them. And then in these fittings, you thread in these uh, AN fittings here. You've got AN lines that connect the back and the front together. They all run into this block right here. And then this block sits. And then this block has a line that runs to, uh, to the radiator. So you can see there's two ports there two ports there, one port there. So with all the fittings in there, that connects everything together, and then you run the one line to the radiator. That was what we had the bung loaded in for. So this is what we're working on today, is we're gonna set uh, work on pulling off the old setup and then putting on this new setup and connecting everything up together. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. setup here uh, I think I had mentioned in a previous you know the intro or whatever for this video the old setup had just been run to the water pump and that's what a lot of people tend to do and it's just not really the best way to go about it it doesn't actually help get rid of any of the steam or anything um, so what we did is we took that fitting out of there they had a fitting here into this hose I just took that out and I just capped it and put a put a plug in there um, so that is no longer running to the to there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a 10 mil, and we are going to remove an extension. We're going to remove. This block, and this is on each head, basically has one of these. Okay, so that is the old setup that was on there. That's what we're removing. follow-up video that I'm sticking at the end of the video for this just to kind of show the finished product which I don't really think I did um, in the time-lapse so here's kind of the finished product you can see there is our um, blocks that we we're talking about there's our AN lines and there's our motion raceworks block um, I did end up doing it a little bit different than I had said I ended up using here on the front I ended up using the AN lines but on the back ones, I end up using just um, quick fit uh, airlines with these quick disconnect fittings here. So I threaded these in, 
ran the lines to the back of the motor and that's what runs to these blocks on the back and then this line here is the one that runs to the radiator and it's also a quick disconnect you can see it comes around there comes around here and goes there and connects to the radiator right there so that's pretty much the finished product that's what it looks like that's going to be a lot better than the way it was and then, i don't know if you couldn't tell but this is where we capped the water pump earlier uh in the video uh where it used to go to was right here so we put a plug in there hooked all this up that should help get rid of steam and heat a lot better uh than previously so just wanted to throw that in there that's the finished product